Hi, I like to gain XP. <laughs> New series alert, new series alert, new series alert, new series alert, blah, 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 blah. What's up, everyone? Today is the start of a new series. It's fresh, it's new, it's the hippest thing since Silly Bands. I have never made a Row 2 series before, and this is the first time I'm doing it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm not sure when I'm going to post a video. I'm not sure if it's going to be daily or weekly. But I wanted to make something like this because a main goal of mine for a while has been one build total XP. So I decided to do this. I don't know if it's been done before. I don't know if someone's done something like this. I don't really care because I'm going to do it differently. But today is the start of a new series so welcome to the new road to one bill xp video series episode one thing and for all those people who are like lee why are you doing a road to one bill xp thing but you're not doing the best xp methods well there's a surge for you obviously it saves a tick but if you're a good xp gainer you don't do the extra one tick saver methods because you just play an extra hour and you just keep doing that until you have carpal tunnel Almost done, and bang, finished my daily challenge. I don't even know why agility is my daily challenge. I don't know why I set that. I think it was just a backup because I had rune span, and one time I forgot to do it, and then I didn't get a daily challenge. So I was like, I'll just put an extra one, and let's do agility because I barely get agility XP. Whatever, let's go get a spin. Yeah, yeah, I've been a good slave. 21k XP, whatever, give me the spin. Great, 21 point whatever mil XP and agility. Spin time, really a tumbleweed, why is that even a thing? And a lamp of the DiGiorno, and I got a Sila lamp handle, which maybe one day I could build a lamp of the DiGiorno, who knows. Let's go do some rocks, I guess. So I probably should have mentioned that I'm starting this series at 956,371,251 overall XP. I'm in the top 1,000 for rank, and I'm going for 1 bill XP overall because that's something I've wanted for a long time now. And who knows, maybe after the series is over, I can do a road to 2 bill XP, or even a road to trim completionist cape. Now that's a question people are going to ask as well. Lee, why isn't this a road to trim completionist cape series? Well, I'm going for the trim completionist cape in a sense. I have everything done but the Castle Wars requirement, rank 1 esteem, all of the champion scrolls, I have a Barret and Goblin, that's all, and I have two weeks of statues left, which is why I'm doing the rocks right now, but I don't want to do Castle Wars really, I've done all of the other requirements, but Castle Wars is not so much as fun, it's not the way I like to play games, I like to set goals and accomplish things, so... Castle Wars loafing or Castle Wars playing, whatever it may be, is not really my style of doing things, I guess. I'd like to gain XP, I like to set goals, and that's just not what I want to do. So we'll see, obviously, after I finish rank 1 esteem, after I finish my rocks, and after I finish the champion scrolls, I'll probably want to do Castle Wars just to get it, but we'll see in the long run. Getting your rocks is like minor league XP gaining. It's not the best methods that you can do, but you're still skilling and you're still getting XP. It's decent, but it's not as good as what you can be getting in the time that you're spending getting the rocks, but the rocks give you XP in exchange. What I'm trying to say is getting your rocks is miserable, and I highly suggest not doing it. Alright, those two are done. Let's see what we have left. A bunch of shit. I guess let's just go and do Hunter. Only 500 GP to buy a Falcon. Remember that one commercial where the guy like saved a bunch of money on his house insurance or car insurance or whatever and he went and bought a Falcon? He got ripped off because I just bought one for 500 coins, son. But seriously, if a Falcon is 500 coins, how much is an Eagle? Because if I had an Eagle scoping out these kebits, they'd be like, ah, ah, Here's a quick little regicidal skilling tip of the day. If you're going to do falconry, make sure you put a bone crusher in your inventory and you put all three kinds of skins on your ability bar. That way you don't get bones when you get the kebit and you can drop the furs instantly so it makes everything easier when doing falconry. So don't forget it. Alright, this has nothing to do with XP gaining at all, but let's just take a second to admire how dope this looks, okay? My outfit is banging. Okay, no one wants to see me get my rocks, so let's just jump cut it to the explosion of the statue and get it over with, because this is looking more like a trim completion escape episode and not an XP gaining episode for 1 billion XP, so let's do this. <laughs> Now here's a serious XP gaining method for all of you hardcore XP gainers. If you're looking for good combat experience, definitely try out the Fight Cauldron. You will knock it after the quest Brink of Extinction. And what it is, it's a mini game where pretty much you fight the Tokar monsters that pop up. You avoid the floors with lava on them because they deal damage to you. I think it's 1300 damage without the Obsidian Armor. And with the Obsidian Armor, it's only 700 damage. So it's definitely worth to have the Obsidian Armor. But... Basically, they just pop up in waves and you fight them. I think it's 2k XP for the littlest monster and 
8k XP for the biggest monster, and they pop up pretty often, and it's just good XP overall, so definitely try this out if you're looking for combat experience. It's what I've been doing recently. I think I've been getting anywhere from 200 to 300k XP per hour. I'm not really sure. I'll do the calculations and figure it out later, but it's just good XP. It's not really that great of money unless you get an Onyx, but... It's pretty relaxing, it's not too stressful, and it's good XP, so I've been doing it recently, and I'm going for 100 mil XP in strength, so I'm at 97 mil at the moment, and this method will help me get there, so if you guys are looking for combat experience, definitely try this out. Imagine if Jad just popped out of one of these craters and was like, What's up, bitch? Bring it on. Come at me, bro. I'd be scared shitless. I'd be on the floor crying. I'd be like, No, no, just, just go away. Just go. I'll leave. I'll leave. Just go. Take the shards. Just go away. Just go away. Please. But that will wrap it up for the first episode of the Road to 1 Billion XP series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment below and tell me what I can do to improve the series, what you want to see within the series, or any other comments you have about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later, everyone.